Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. What I'd like to do is show you how to multiply a uh, polynomial um, by a monomial. And basically what we have here in this case is we have a monomial outside of a polynomial in parentheses. And basically the idea um, to when multiplying monomials times binomials is applying the distributive property, which going back to just kind of some basic uh, algebraic properties, if A is multiplied times B plus C, then you need to multiply A times B plus a times c. So we gotta make sure we multiply our term outside the parentheses to every single term inside the parentheses. Now it's also very important to understand that when we are, um, when we are multiplying, we can, only multiply, uh, we can only multiply terms that have the exact same base. So for instance, if I have a times x to the c um, times you know, b times x to the d, uh, basically, Basically, the x, which is the base of the exponent, these have to be the same. So I can't multiply x squared times y squared, for instance. The bases are not the same, so you can't do that. They have to have exactly the same bases. Now, I'm keeping this video fairly, sh fairly similar. I'm not using different variables. You can see that the base of every exponent is x. All right. Um, but what's also important is, again, remembering the power rule, that when you're multiplying exponents with the same base, you multiply your coefficients. So that's going to be a times b and then you add your powers, c plus d. Okay, so when I'm gonna be going through this, I'll work through a couple kind of slowly, um, but that just to kind of remind you, but just to remember that we're gonna apply the power rule when multiplying, you're gonna be adding the powers, and then coefficients, you're just gonna multiply as well. Um, but in the first example, it's pretty simple. I just have a number, and we, I kind of just chose a number because I wanted you to make sure you remember that, you know, three times x, well, we can't, there's, those aren't really like terms because you can, um, this is the variable the number and this is the variable, so we're just gonna rewrite this as three times x, and then three times negative four, that's gonna give me a negative 12 as I multiply that out, all right? Um, in this case, I have three times, or I'm sorry, I have seven x times x minus five. Again, just going to distribute. So therefore, I have seven times x. Now again, these powers are one and one, so that's one plus one. And then I have seven x times negative five, which is gonna be a negative 35 x. Well, 1 plus 1 is, is 2, so therefore it's 7x squared minus 35x. Um, getting into the next example, you can see that now I'm basically multiplying. If I distribute, and I'm just going to write this one out, so therefore it would be 3x squared times 2x squared, um, plus, because that's a positive, 3x squared times negative x. Okay? So again, remember when you're multiplying monomials by applying the power rule, you're going to multiply 3 times 2. So do three times two, and then you're gonna multiply x squared times x squared, so you add the powers, which is two plus two. And then plus here, I'm gonna do three times that negative as a negative one, and then x two plus, that has a power of one. So therefore, I get six x to the fourth, plus a negative three x to the third, which I can just rewrite as six x to the fourth minus three x cubed, okay? Um, all right, so again, kind of doing the same thing again. Now you see we have three terms, but again, you're gonna multiply that term on the outside to every single term um, over there on the inside. I guess I, surprise, oh, I guess I needed a, a negative here in the example. So therefore, um, now I'm just gonna kind of do this. 4x cubed times x squared is going to be 4x to the fifth. 4x cubed times negative 2x, four times negative two is a negative eight. x cubed times x is x to the fourth. 4 times 5 is going to be plus 20, and then that's x cubed, okay? Be careful when we have a negative. Um, uh, we want to make sure that we're distributing, again, that negative. So negative 2 times 5 is a negative 10. x squared times x squared is going to be x to the fourth. And then negative 2x squared times 1 is just going to be a negative 2x squared. Um, all right, and last but not least, you can see now we have five terms. So I'm going to multiply this times all five of these terms. Just that goes down from there. All right. And rather than writing out, which would take a little bit longer, I'm just going to multiply these and talk my way through it. 8 times 2 is 16. x to the 4th times x to the 5th is x to the 9th. 8 times negative 3 is negative 24. x to the 4th times x cubed is x to the 7th. Again, remember, we're multiplying coefficients, adding powers. 8 times 2 is a positive 16. x to the 4th times x squared is x to the 6th. 8 times here, there's a 1 right there. So 8 times 1 is going to be a positive 8. And again, there it's raised to the first power. So x to the 4th times x to the 1st is x to the 5th. And then 8 times negative 3 again is negative 24. And there's no variable, so it's negative 
x to the fourth power. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you multiply a monomial times a binomial. Thanks. Or, I'm sorry, by polynomial.